Okay, so Kubernetes dashboard. So I've gone to Google, search for Kubernetes dashboard. I'm just going to click on this link. Okay, so we're just going to scroll down. This is how the dashboard looks. This is exactly what we want so we can see what's going on. And it looks extremely easy. So we're just going to copy the command. We're going to run it on our master node. I think it is as simple as that. And then now this is not going to work because I'm not on localhost. I am on a laptop that's connected via the Wi-Fi. And uh, we're going to come back and do this metric server as well. But the thing we need to do next is, is just go to the user guide and then I think accessing the dashboard. Because I think you just edit the... Um, so we'll have a look now. So if you do cube control... Uh, cube control uh, get services okay doesn't look like anything is running so let's do uh, all name spaces okay so what you will see here is the dashboard's running um, it's running on port 443 of this internal IP address that it's created um, and it's got a cluster IP and then the thing we're going to do now and you'll see so we're going to click we are on 1.7x and above so we're just going to click there and um, let's just scroll down uh, okay so uh, we want to do the node port one. What the node port does is it exposes it, it exposes a port on this server that we can then access from from my normal laptop um, or, or, or my IP address on on this machine. So um, what's quite interesting when you type the following command, <coughs> um, you are able to edit the configuration of the um, so this is VI, so it works a little bit different. But the main thing is you have to scroll down all the way to the bottom. If you're not familiar with VI, I strongly suggest you get familiar with it. I, st I still prefer Nano, and I'm sure you can probably make Nano the default one. But you're basically just going to de uh, delete the cluster IP there. You're going to type I for insert, and then you're going to go node port. I think that's the instructions if we see node port. And then you're going to type escape colon wq exclamation mark and that saves it and i think if we run this command again what you'll see is it's changed to node port from cluster and you'll see there's a port here that we want to connect to now to connect to it uh, there's a bit longer um there's a bit, bit longer uh uh, URL. So let's just have a look at it. Uh, I think we can go back to the previous page. It's simple enough. Well, let, let's let's just have a look. No, I don't think it's going to work. If I remember correctly, we have to put the whole URL in. Um, Okie dokie. So we are going to go and do the following. So this is now on my it's HTTP, it's not HTTPS, it's Ubuntu 1, okay, dot local. And the port is that lovely long port that we're seeing there, 31951, so 31951. And then the rest of the URL should be the same. And let's just see what happens there, it's not secure, that is what I do did expect that. Um, I should just try my IP address. That's quite odd. Um, let me just have a look at it and then we'll get back to it.